As a guitarist, a very universally frustrating experience is when you practice for forever and then someone asks you to jam on a really simple song and you sound terrible and you're like, did I even play guitar? Have I ever picked up a guitar in my life? So I wanted to make this video because I think there's a few really simple things that you can do to make your solos sound a lot better and just kind of sound like you are a little bit more polished when you avoid these five things. I use to do group guitar lessons back in the day and every single week we would have an improv session and we would watch the other guitarists play and we would um, take a little solo ourselves on whatever we learned and in this there was certain people that just kind of had these little techniques that they would throw in there and you could really tell a difference by these little things that people would do that would make them sound a lot better or a lot worse these won't be really technical licks that you can learn in this video, but more just general tips. So I'm going to grab my guitar and show you these. So let's go ahead and jump into it. your vibrato in tune. If you don't know what vibrato is, basically all we are doing is we are taking a note and rather than just letting it ring out, just kind of straight, we're gently kind of wiggling the string. I don't know if that's the correct term, a string wiggle. But so that note is kind of swaying around your note and gently fading away. So with this, you kind of want to just very lightly do this instead of doing a like half bend situation. If you're doing this, a lot of times it sounds like you're not exactly meaning to do a bend and it can just kind of be like you're slightly going out of tune here and there. So it's a very easy correction. Just don't be quite as zesty and dramatic with that string wiggle here. And really all you have to do is just keep it small. And it's a really pretty technique to add in there as you're kind of letting that note ring out. So tip number one, just keep that vibrato a little bit more reined in. So tip number two is thinking about varying your tempo. When you are talking naturally, you can speed up a little bit if you're more excited in the conversation or you might kind of slow down to think about things. And I think that's a really good technique to when you are doing your solos is when you are doing a faster lick, pairing a slower lick to kind of let the listener's ear catch up and adding that contrast. So you do not need to know a lot to implement this technique. If you just are soloing in your basic blues scale or something, you could do a faster lick with just a few notes here. And this, you know, might, you could even just do two notes if you want to doing something like that with just two, or you could do a little, you know, just kind of standard fast lick like, and then adding some kind of big bend after it, like, and adding some vibrato holding out a note. So just thinking about that contrast can make your solo sound a little bit more zesty and make those faster licks really stand out and make it sound a little bit more conversational. My next tip is about just adding an extra note as you are playing your minor pentatonic scale. So with this, you don't have to know everything in order to play an extra note on here or to add an extra things. I know a lot of times, you know, we know our minor pentatonic scale. And 
thinking about adding something like a little passing tone in here can be like, okay, well, I don't quite know the theory around that, or I don't know exactly what mode I'm going to be playing in here. But the fact of the matter is you don't really have to know everything in order to experiment around with extra notes. There is no like note police on guitar. And so as you are doing this, I would just recommend choosing one extra note as you're practicing. Like say you're wanting to add the eighth fret here on the G string. You can hear how just that one extra note makes things sound a little bit more varied. So I would just recommend as you're practicing, just practice adding something extra as a little passing tone. And if you want to figure out what that is, you can always just count up your scale and figure out what note that is. But the biggest thing is just thinking about having kind of the mindset of let's experiment and try something new so you're not just always playing in the box all the time. technique because it seems like you know all you have to do is stack your fingers up behind a note and then push that note up you can hear how just a little bit of extra finesse can make a really big difference if you're going like this or going like this how it just sounds a little bit out of tune so this is something that actually took me a very long time and for something so simple I was always like okay, why am I not getting this down? But it's kind of weird to fine tune your muscle memory that much that just a little bit extra of a push can make something sound out of key. So what I would recommend to do to fix this is just practice going slow and really pushing that note up to the exact right spot that you're wanting to get and just practice doing that over and over again so your finger knows exactly how much it needs to bend that string in order to get the note that you want. So bends is something that if you just fine tune those, it's gonna make you sound a lot more professional and like you are doing what you are wanting to do as you're soloing. I think it's easy to do is overcomplicate things. I remember going to guitar camp when I was like a junior in high school and that was like the biggest lesson of the whole camp was the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid, and really just thinking about how can you put emotion in your playing and not worry about making things too crazy. Um, a lot of times it's easy to think that everybody watching you play guitar is probably also a guitarist, but usually they're not. So if you are just doing something that either puts, you know, a lot of emotion in your guitar, like in this example, I'm just using a few notes here. You can really easily make things that sound emotional. Or if you're playing a fast lick, if you still can't get to the point that you are playing what you want to as fast as you want, if you just play some pull-offs and play them really fast and do the same thing over and over again, like things like that, people that don't play guitar might still be like, oh my gosh, they're really getting into the solo. It sounds really epic. So if you just keep things very simple in your soloing and not worrying about doing everything, but just thinking, what's one really cool lick that I can add in here? That can be a really good, effective method to make things just sound like you really know what you're doing and make your solo kind of have the effect that you want it to. Okay, so those are my tips. I hope that they help you and comment your thoughts if you have any big tips that you've learned from playing at the bottom for any of the beginners watching this channel. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day.